The swimming of horses at the sea, is a long-held practice in thoroughbred racing. Usually, horses suffering from various ailments, and those recovering from injuries, and who cannot work out regularly on the track are made fit and healthy by swimming at sea. In the last 20-odd years, in addition to going to sea, trainers of horses can also swim their charges in the equine pool located on the Cayman as Park compound. With the race day honoring those in the horse racing industry working behind the scenes to include suppliers of hay, grass, and swimmers of horses among others on the horizon, this quick gallop video zeroes in on the professional career of swimmer of horses, Jasper Campbell. Balloon as he is affectionately known, shares how he got started and the dangers associated with his trade. Yeah, my name is Jasper Josh Campbell, otherwise popularly known as Balloon in the racing industry. So you're a swimmer, Mr. Campbell? Yeah, I'm a swimmer, swimming a, a lot of horses at the beach. How long now have you been doing this? About 20 years now. About 20 years? Mm -hmm. That's a long time. Yeah. How did you get involved in horse racing, first of all? Oh, how I did get involved in horse racing? I'm a little country boy I come to town, you know. And I was at Red to only with my sister. But when I in the country, I, was, I did like racing a lot. Which country is that? St. Towns. Yeah, I did like racing a lot. And when I was in country, I was sparring with my brothers and I was like horses. And got the button shop a lot. So I followed them as a little boy, teenager. And um, I buy a bit, and a bit come in. We ask them double Q and two Q. And from that, I get involved in racing a lot and like it. This is a long time, and about a time about 12 years old. Okay. And how yeah. did you end up as a swimmer? Was that your first involvement in amateur? No, no. no. I can't spend time, but I get up for my sister and say, I could reach racing by some means. So when they had a spot on ball and look at my sister yard and start investing invest where I can find camera and spark. And people at them say I can go a place named Orange Street. When I reach Orange Street now, God said an angel to me and asked me where I'm going. I said, I tell you gentlemen, I want to reach camera and spark. I said, I'm going over there. I can't bring you. And the man came and bust here for me everything. I came to the chalk. When he came to the chalk, he said, guy, look at it. He asked me what I want to be. I told him, that chalk here I want to turn. So, so I go around, we have one stable. I said, Mr. Paul Newman. Mr. Paul Newman stable. He said, I don't want to go to the stable. Go on. You don't want to go to the stable, but. When we come out and ask me to come, I said, come from your country, you know. So he said, all right, I'm going to take you in. But do not let each other see you. So he gave me two months and the rate and said, you're welcome to see you, because you're still here. Can you remember this is about what year? Early 70s? Yeah, uh, in the 80s, man. Oh, in the 80s? Yeah, 80. I look up the stairs very well now, so one day she will come and say, Well, look up the stairs very well, so pretty. He said, I look up the country boy there, young man. He said, Bring him up the stairs. Now, when he bring me, when he bring me, bring me to the chair, the chair said, Leave my boy from today. And he said, I'm afraid of a week. Look up the stairs very well. So from there now, call him on. When the name started to roll, probably my mother's child asked at the beach. Very early man. And then tell him about 19, about 20. So I started looking at some asses and started taking on from this one. So I developed to be a good swimmer swimming asses. From that stage? Yeah. But we said, probably man dying now. So I changed this. I, I did not a classic cinema for cinema. I found him and died, so I leave Parliament Series to Emma Chin. 
and start roll as a game, no more jetty again. The first hours I look after them, hold and touch. Emma Chin, win the first race in about 1988 at um, $94. Win the next one with an ass then. Never again, need to find a movie. But otherwise, I'm there, yeah? I'm actually mash up. I'm actually mash up. I went to Kenneth Mattis. Start work with Kenneth Mattis. In my first year, I asked him in aggressive mark. It was Kenneth Mattis. And I used to look up at both cephalus. Kenneth Mattis. And now Kenneth Mattis mash up again. I go to Billy Williams. So I told Mr. with Mr. Billy Williams. Yeah, Mr. Billy Williams, me now like a difficulty difficulty. So I left out. And when I left Mr. Williams, I started to swim on. Okay. So what prompted you now to turn to swimming? What prompted me? Prompted you. What made you turn to swimming? Oh, well I tell you I was a groom. So I found, I found that difficult at the shop. So I changed your I changed you. I, I used it's to be professional from being a girl to swimming. To swimming now. Mm -hmm. But I'm a professional ask my girl now. All who I go on is a professional. Like Mr. Williams, no, Mr. Paul Newman, a professional trainer. Mr. Emma Chin was a professional trainer. Mr. Kenneth Mattis was a professional trainer. And I leave to Mr. Billy Williams. Is a professional trainer. So from here, I don't bother to do my ass again. I turn it to swimmer. And I take it from my personal work so far. So I never scoot back from those times till now. Mm, so yeah. that's a daily routine now. And this is my daily routine that I'm um, swimming horses see A lot of trainers come in a spot. And I find it very interesting for me. I take it from a life, life we've been so far. Um, approximately how many horses you, you would say you, you, you would swim per day? Uh, well, possibly sometime, uh, at a small church, you know. In the, in the day you start? Uh, I don't have a special time, you know. Um, come at the beach, I'll 12 o'clock sometime in the night. Mm -hmm. Sometime at 11 or 1 o'clock, I don't have a special time. I'm going to come and see you from 2 o'clock in the night. I'll see you right back till 2 o'clock in the day. So, Mr. Kemp, yes, how sir. easy or how difficult it is to swim horses? It's not an easy thought, you know. It's a very difficult thought. But swimming horses, you have a very skill. You can make one mistake and you'll live a life out in the sea there. Like? Give like us some examples. Like if the horse bounce you, you can knock you out out there and you can swim coming back. Look how you can swim good. And the horse can jump on you out there, the fish can touch him from your foot. And you can jump on you and kill you out there. And something can, something can bite you out there. And something can take you out there. All kind of difficulties you can go through out there. So what are some of the precautions that you take in, in carrying out your... In carrying the horses? Well, the first class is cross and what I take and go, you know. I did, I um, depending on myself to go out there and come back safely. Same with the arts, I feel with the arts, but they feel with the arts coming back. I see a lot of future there, you know. Yeah. A lot of things I see out there, just passing, go out and passing, coming back. A lot of things like what? I don't know. <laughs> I see a lot of things out there, I don't know what, what is it then. But it's some what I see, uh, I see um, crocodile, I see dolphin, I see enough more things, but I don't know what is them. Mm -hmm. You prefer night or day swimming of horses? Well, the two of them is coming equal to me, no problem. And how long do you see yourself continuing to swim horses? About the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right now I feel like I was 13. You know? I feel like you're 13. Like I was 30. Like 30? Yeah. 
because you're physically fit. Yeah. Because you have to to do what you do with these horses. Yeah. I'm 1963 you now. I am 1963, the month of March. Mm -hmm. So you're in your... Um, 59. You're, you're, in, you're going in your 60th year now. Yeah? You're going in your 60th year now, 2023. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I'm, I'm 30. Feel like you're 30? Yeah. Tell me some of the, the, the top horses you would have um, swum here. At, at I swim down here? Yeah. Oh, I swim all, all the top horses I swim. So far, I swim further and beyond, I'm going to be a lot of ways. I swim, um, I swim double winner, I swim with Bama. I swim all the way in Big Arsene, all the way in the castle Big Arsene. I swim also with my next double for um, Spencer Chuck. And you make yeah. a decent living from swimming your horses, right? Comfortable, man. No problem about it. You're enjoying what you do? Very enjoy, 100%. How important do you think what you're doing swimming horses contribute to the success of the sport? Well, it's very, very 100% um, guarantee to everybody enjoy what I'm doing for them as a trainer and Jackie and the owners as came and as Park. They give me 100% what I credit, what I'm doing. And you enjoy that? And everybody gets a good result from it. Now, Mr. Campbell, you can tell when a horse is fit enough so that he can perform well, good enough to win a race. Well, I tell you, when, when that is one of my number one strengths. Um, Powerative. To no trainer, I tell him, so the horse cannot lose. He fit like a figure. And he really is good. His body language is good. So he just wants to go to the starting gate to jump out and he's a winner. When you say wind is good, that means he uh, has no itching and wind. Now he is free like a lamp. Meaning his breathing? Yeah. Breathe is clear, no itching and wind like in the sound, like in his throat or anything. Mm -hmm. That means he uh, is good, good, good to go. Mm -hmm. And he feels light in anybody. body. He feels light in anybody. Yeah. All right, sir. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you for what you do for the sport, and all the best, sir.